tonight I am going to save the pleasure of opening this box with some kind of cutlery. I, I, I noticed that um, Mystery Tackle Box has added some kind of ex sponsor or something. This Catch Co. Company. Kind of like what they did, you know. box right here is a little bit different than the last ones I had so far. The first item on the list, which is quite possibly a crankbait, by the way. We can do it the normal way. Lucky Craft LV300. Something I've never looked into getting before. Wow. And it even come, comes with one of those um, special O rings. Kind of like this already. I mean, this is probably the first normal crankbait I've ever had. So I give it a plus for that. Actually, these four items right here I kind of combined because it got a little bit of um, synchronicity to them, you know. These li um, worms right here. Vicious fishing. Pumpkin worm right here. I kind of like the hooks they came with in the box for some, from company. So um, actually, um, the hooks that came with this box right here is actually quite unique in its design. I have, I've never seen anything like this before in my life, and I hope sometime soon it'll be up to my dad. But I think I may actually try something different this time. These hooks right here. I've never seen any like them, but um. These sickle hooks right here. I kind of got an idea for this worm right here. So that's why I'm tending to keep these like right next to each other. So yeah, these are pretty cool looking. I, I, they're probably sharpness to them. And that's something real cool I thought was, I thought would be, if I was going to cut that um, licorice candy and put it between the top of the hook and the bottom of the hook right after I put the worm right here where it belongs, it may be something I could probably tacticalize on because that's something um, different about this tackle box. Also got these, I got this football jig head right here. Wow, it's from Gamakatsu. And this, you know what, this took, this jig right here came with its own instructions, you know? I mean, that's a real good thing to have right there on something you've never seen or before. So, um, I just, they just happened to give me these licorice flavored balls right here that I'm assuming that this is some kind of finesse type lure right here combo. I kind of like what they did here. Um, it's completely different. I've never seen anything like this com come from a um, mystery tackle box before. So yeah, I can really see that coming together right there. So yeah, this was pretty much a productive box right here. I'll be looking forward to using these baits. I can see where this would be a lot better use up in um, Ufala next time I get, um, I'm planning on making my uh, next video at Lake Ufala or you want to look at the jig up close. Um, I already got a fishing rod capable of using it so yeah it's just an ordinary jig with any style hook at the bottom just so you can just slip on whatever um, piece of plastic you're going to put on it. It's real nice. I like the way they changed company design. This is really something way better than some of the other boxes I've been given. Maybe because I just gave them my um, preferences last time on there. So this is kind of the upgrade that Mystery Tackle Box has had. So uh, I've kept the idea alive for about as much as I can. I can see myself Texas rigging this worm here with this hook. And this might, this may not actually work, you know. I, I already got a place for it. Could quite possibly, um, I could probably put this to an advantage to me. I decided to take the rooster tail off for the moment on this new rod of mine. I had, had an idea recently. If I get to the lake, I'll be using this more likely. Hopefully everything I would planned on will come together as planned. Maybe this time I won't drop the hook and really bad depth perception problem and get my age just kind of get that way. Okay, make sure this hook is on this time. I'll put it back through the... That's pretty much how I've always gotten a Texas rig done correctly. Always put the egg between tungsten and lead or whatever. Whatever you um, typically use for this setup, I just go ahead and step further and put the little gra glass bead on it because that's usually what's worked for me in the past. Hold on a minute. I'm going to just bow tie this top piece here like so and apparently be ready for this. Hold on a minute. Let me get the coil in here. I don't have any way to strengthen this knot this way. Okay, hold on. And we are set. <laughs> 